podcasting has become a cool fad for people to talk and dialogue about different topics and subjects, and it's a really cool way to learn about stuff. The church that I work at is wanting to use this video booth that we used in our worship center, our production space, turning it into a multi-use room, so during the week it can be used for podcasting. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like to flip it. So as you can tell, this room is very hodgepodge. It's been working really well for about 10 years now, but it's time to make this space more functional for week in and week out, day in and day out use. For podcasting, we have our slide and our video director. We're also gonna be doing a live stream, which is gonna be a new thing. So we've gotta make more out of this space. That got this room somewhat cleaned up. Al's over here messing with mics and we're getting ready to paint. Gotta run to the Home Depot to pick up some brushes that are bigger than these tiny little cuties <laughs> and uh, some drop for the ground so we don't ruin the carpet. It's already kind of ugly, but whatever, we don't want to ruin it. All done now painting. This is gonna be so cool, but you always look at spaces like this with a lot of like vision and, and when you're in it, it's just like a lot more work than you remember. And so, oh, we're out of focus. I always start projects like this with so much vision, thinking like, man, this is gonna be so cool. Like, I'm so stoked for this. But then the reality of it is, it's a lot of work. The work is totally worth it, but in the middle of the project, like right about now before anything's actually like built, kind of struggling to find energy. I just need to eat some lunch and then we'll be good. Now that we've got some lunch in us, we've got the room painted, we need to cut the bracing that we're gonna use for our countertops. It's just gonna be a 90 degree angle of two by fours with a 45 for bracing. Countertop will just sit right on top of the 90 degree angle. It should hold fine, it's only 24 inches deep and we're leaving about a one inch gap in the back for cables to run up and down. Get this room finished. Yeah. Finally got everything cleared out and we've got our counters. This has been a really fun project. Highly recommend finding a hundred bucks and just fixing your space up. I mean, literally I spent less than a hundred dollars. Most of it was the plywood, which was 50 of it. So really most of this was just good old hard fashion work and repurpose. I would say that's worth it. So find the money if you can. Uh, if you can't, there's always ways to improve stuff. So. Be creative, think outside the box, talk to some friends, consult other people in the area who maybe do what you do, and make the most of your space. I mean, man, this is going to make such a big difference. And also just making a room like this useful for more than two or three hours on a Sunday morning. It's gonna be useful for podcasting. Uh, soon we'll be able, to, I'm actually gonna furnish over here with some chairs and a table. Anyway, uh, super pumped. I think this is going to be a really good thing. Mm -hmm.